in short order the boss fights were kind of underwhelming. Monolith learned from the feedback of the community from us and they decided to implement other boss battles and more boss battles. Not only did they put more boss battles in the game, but they also made them live action boss battles, meaning there are no quick time events, so you don't have to press a button and then something happens. So let's take a quick look at the bosses that we've seen so far. We'll start with one ne nemesis that isn't only your nemesis, but becomes your biggest ally, Karnan. Karnan, the forest spirit of Nurnan, is located in the forest of Karnan. She controls all living creatures, both plant and animal alike, which makes her a powerful ally. So far we've seen her shapeshift into an elemental Karagor, Grauk and Drake, and for this both a big and a small Drake. During multiple occasions she will help you fight the Belrog, which is our next boss. Thargordoth is a Balrog of Mordor. A Balrog is besides Sauron probably the most powerful creature we will encounter. It is summoned about halfway through the story by an orc named Zog the Eternal and his band of orcs. They get killed immediately, well not Zog but his band of followers are, and are, you are left to fight Targoroth alongside Karnan in her Grauk form. At the end of the mission Targoroth escapes to fight another day. Besides beating the crap out of you and Karnan with his bare hands, he also uses an incendiary whip similar to the one from the Lord of the Rings movies. And besides riding Karnan, you can damage the Balrog by shooting certain spots on his back and chest. Uh, th those are glowy spots, his weakness. And this way you can deal damage with your bow. This is one of the few encounters with the Balrog. Uh, we'll also encounter him on the plains of Saragost and apparently during some other missions too. Moving on to our next boss fight, though it isn't confirmed, we can be quite sure that we will fight Shiloh. The Lady of Spiders is neither on Sauron's side nor on your side. She seeks to destroy Sauron, and with that in mind she will steal the ring that we've crafted. The Ring of Power. The reasons we think she, reasons we think she will also be an ally is because she's fighting the Nazgul, and as they say the enemy of my enemy, it's of course my friend. Her powers are unknown, but she can of course switch between her spider and human form, shapeshifting, and next to that we've seen her attack both Nazgul and Celebrimbor, meaning she can fight spirits as well. This brings us to our other boss fights, the Nazgul. The Nazgul, the Ring Raids, the Nine, are the Dark Servants of Sauron, once great kings of men, but now slaves to the dark side. The developers mentioned that we will fight three Nazgul separately, but there will also be fights where you battle multiple of them. The ones we know we will fight separately are the Witch King, of course, and Helm Hammerhand, uh, who used to be a King of Rowan. Another ring raid we know the name of is Kamul, though we don't know if he's a separate boss fight. The cool thing is that each Nazgul now has their own armor and weapon and fighting style or, and bonus that comes along with it, instead of all wearing black robes and a sword. The Witch King has a terror-inspiring helmet and probably has a trusty sword. Besides this, he has the power to drain or dominate Talion during the story, though we haven't seen a gameplay battle with him. The other Nazgul, Helm Hammerhand, we've seen, is the King of Rowan, has the horned mask with the plated armor. Besides this, he uses a big hammer to slay his enemies. This is actual lore. As he was the Horse Lord of Rowan, he has a power of controlling animals and can summon ghouls, caragors and Drakes, probably, but we haven't seen him summoning them. Besides this, he and probably other Nazgul can use his dark magic to slam into the ground and send a circular shockwave knocking you back. Also, teleporting is part of his kit, so no shortage of cool abilities. But the Nazgul only serve the boss of bosses, Sauron. Though we haven't seen any in game footage of Sauron in Shadow War, we can speculate about his powers. It is confirmed that he will be in the game, and he'll probably be the end boss, uh, we're assuming. He's looking as badass as ever. He will of course rock his dark armor and use his mace to smash his opponents, meaning us. If the previous game is any indication, he can control any orcs you dominate, simply smash you with his mace and also use his dark powers to send stun waves and shock waves at you. For the full extent of his powers, we'll have to wait for the release of the game, hopefully it will be an epic and cool looking fight. Whether that's the case or not, Monolith definitely stepped up their game in this part of the game. 
We can't wait to fight them all. Before we end the video we want to know if out of these boss battles you have any favorite. Mine is probably one of the Nazgul, maybe even Helm Hammerhand. Anyways, thanks for watching. Consider leaving a like if you enjoyed the video or dislike if you didn't. In either case you can leave us some constructive feedback on the video art style, commentary and content so we can improve our content. In case you want to stay updated, consider subscribing or clicking the notification bell to get instant pop-ups when we upload. If you have any questions, want to share your ideas or like we said want to start a discussion, let us know in the comment section down below. Once again, thanks for watching and we'll hopefully see you in the next video. Bye bye. Finally, all will fear me and rejoice.